now um, your your father and Rajani, she just she is assigned to Cash Money. That that I just saw that press release the other day, right? Yeah. Like that, that's all the way official. Now, as a yeah. man and as a father, you're raising a daughter, and um, how how would how would you have your daughter handle that situation if, for whatever reason, you know what I mean, the, the, the situation happened like that? I expect my daughter to be the bigger person in that situation, just like I expect Mrs. Bosch to do. Mm. Okay, and the bigger person would be to... Ignore me. Ignore you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, how, how would your response is, you know, to the people, you know, to the DJs who feel like, you know what, or even just the, you know, the overall murmur, you know, that the listeners, that the city is saying, like, you know, you lost a lot of fans here. You lost, um, you know, people who don't want to hear the music on the radio station. And, you know, what what are your views on that? Oh, I can't change nobody's personal opinion. I can't change nobody's personal view. All I can do is keep doing what I do and keep putting food on the table for my family. And that's what I'm going to do no matter what, no matter how, no matter who. That's how that's you do it. Did you, um, did you read the, the letter that uh, Luke wrote, the article Luke wrote? Because I know there was, you know. No, I haven't. No, okay. but I already know how you feel about me, so. And is that situation, I mean, is that, you know, are you guys able to sit down and talk, resolve that? Uh, no, I've never sat down. I've never met him, actually. Oh, so you never even met him? No. Hmm. Like, you know, I, I'm, it's just like ever since I got out here, I, I, like I told you, there were billboards and signs up saying, Little Wayne, go back home. You know what I mean? Like, and I ain't do anything. I don't know what I did wrong. I, I guess just being who I am. I never saw that but, sign. Where was that? Oh, yeah, you can go ahead and, I'm quite sure you can, you know, yeah, the internet. Like, yeah, yeah, have to look yeah, at you it. can find that. There was definitely signs saying, well, we ain't cash money, go back home. Yeah, I'm not mm -hmm. So. But, but, you know, like I said, this city, the real, the real part of this city didn't show me too much love. I mean, I've been in the hood shooting videos since I was 14 in this city, you know what I mean? So. I ain't tripping, and I skate, I street skate out here, so I be in the, shout out to the Swampers, I be in the hood street skating every night, and ain't nobody got no problems with me out here, so. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so. All right, so it's not the city of Miami. You you definitely weren't taking shots at the people on the other side of the bridge. Um, you, you, you still gonna live here. You still gonna rock with the with, with South Florida. And, um. Yeah, I can't, I mean, this is, come on, man, this is Miami, I can't move. This is Miami. Yeah, I got, like, the best skate weather ever. I mean, oh, I thought you were going to say the best women. <laughs> oh, God, so. oh, I knew you, I knew you thought I was going to say that. I sure did thought you were going to say that way. <laughs> but I'm not mad. Um, I definitely appreciate um, you calling. Is there anything that, you know, that you want to just get off your chest before I get, you know, get you off the phone, babe? Um, like I said, uh, the, the main thing about it, the main thing I, I really want to get across um, is that I, I do apologize for the misunderstanding to the city of Miami. I don't, and I love everyone here. It's just I'm, I'm passionate about sports, and I felt very disrespected. That's all. I felt very, very, very disrespected. 